Hey, what's up guys? Today we are changing the transmission oil, or if you want to call it the gearbox oil, or the hub oil, on the Piaggio Liberty 150S with ABS. This is the 2019 model with the iGet motor. And I'll show you here what we're going to need. We're going to need a oil pan, 6 millimeter Allen wrench, hex key extended, makes it a little easier to get off that um, filler bolt. Uh, nice microfiber cloth, nice and clean. We're going to need 80W90 gear oil. This is from Valvoline. A pair of scissors just to snip the tip off of this bottle here. And then we're going to need two copper crushed wires. This is item number 485703. But I'll put a, a link in the description below of all the items here and uh, so you can get them yourself. But let's jump right into it. Let's go. All right, first things first, we're going to want to make sure we run the scooter for about 15 minutes. We'll turn it off, we'll get it set on the center stand, we'll get the oil pan situated down here, and we want to make sure we first locate the two bolts that we're going to be unscrewing with the 6mm Allen wrench. And the first one is the uh, filler bolts right here, and the second one, I'll get real close here, is going to be uh, the drain bolt right down here. And we want to make sure, the first thing, is that we're able to actually loosen uh, this filler bolt. Because say we unscrew the drain bolt first and all the hub oil falls out and then this bolt is too tight, well then you're screwed because you're not going to be able to fill it up. So we want to make sure we first loosen up um, the filler bolt here. And you might hear a little um, pop when you do it because it's really on there initially. I just loosened it up a minute ago but lefty loosey obviously, <laughs> there we go, you get that off. And we want to make sure, yeah, da -da, da -da, almost there, that we get that old uh, washer and we discard that. We're going to replace it with a new one later. But for now, let's put this aside. And the next thing is now that we have the filler off there, we're going to get the drain plug off. Let me, yeah, I haven't loosened this one up yet, so it might be pretty tight. There we go. Wow, that was on there good. Which is rightfully so. And now should come out all that beautiful gear oil. Here we go. Let that drain for a minute there, my friends. Yeah, I'm going to set this aside. While we're letting that drain, I'm just going to clean off the bolts of any excess oil here. And we're definitely going to discard this old uh, crush washer. What they recommend is, is switching up the gear oil every around 6,000 miles or around 10,000 kilometers. Uh, oh, that smells, smells good. So we let that drain almost there. I'm just going to clean off this drain bolt here. Little microfiber cloth, make sure there's no debris on there. That looks nice and clean. There we go. I'm gonna get a new uh, copper crush wash, just place it on there for later. And the same story uh, with the filler, new fresh crush washer on there. That looks nice, we'll get that situated over here. So that's pretty much, it's only been a few minutes, but it's pretty much done dripping. I'm just gonna wipe off the area with a little microfiber cloth here. Might be a couple extra little drips every now and then. It's not too bad at all. Now we're gonna get our fresh washer and our bolt we're gonna put that bad boy right back on there let's see here first I'm just gonna do it by hand obviously Again, I'll try not to drop it like an idiot and then we'll torque it down with the six millimeter I believe they said around 11 foot-pounds of torque but I'm just gonna give it a good one two until you feel that crush washer squeeze a little bit there Make sure it's on there. I'm get in there. One, two. That's really on there. It's not going nowhere. And then now we're going to fill this bad boy up. And now we've got our Valvoline 80W90 gear oil. I'll put a link in the description for all this good stuff. All we want to do. I already snipped the tip of that pair of scissors. Is we're going to squeeze it into the uh, filler hole here until basically we see that it starts to drip out a little bit. That's when you know it's filled up. 
Make sure you take that peel off or else nothing's coming out of that bottle. Oh, and you see now there's a lot dripping out. That means I put way too much in there. So what we're gonna do is let it drain. And then once it's drained, that means basically we got plenty. You only need, I believe a quarter of a quart. But we're just gonna let that drain. And that way, once it's down to a little bit of a drip, then you know you've got plenty in there. So let's give that a second, I'll be right back. Perfect, so now we're at the point where all the excess oil is drained out. There's just a drop every like five seconds or so. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get our, uh, our bolt again. We have the fresh copper washer on there. I'm just gonna clean off the area with the microfiber cloth again, just for a moment here. And then we're gonna line this up. Use my fingers at first, and then we'll torque it down with the Allen. We'll give it a good, once we get there, a good one, two, three, one, two, three. Ooh, that third one's real good. Make sure you feel that that washer give a little bit. There we go. Like I said, you could use a torque wrench. I believe it's um, 11 foot-pounds of torque. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? That is that. So, like I said, I do recommend changing the hub oil, or transmission oil, the gear oil, whatever you want to call it, every 10,000 uh, kilometers uh, or around 6,200 miles. And I'll put a link in the description below of all the goodies that we use here today. Once she's all filled up, you're just going to want to run her for a couple minutes. Make sure that everything's all nice and tight, that there's no leaks anywhere and no drips. And then you're good to go, my friends. I hope this video was useful. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll catch you later. Bye.